ये इन द आई बटन एंड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो यू विल गेट द कंप्लीट प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ न्यूमेकल एनालिसिस वेलकम टू वीडियो नंबर एट ऑफ द टॉपिक दैट इज न्यूमेकल इंटीग्रेशन वे आर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द एथ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक इन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ न्यूमेकल इंटीग्रेशन विल फाइंड एट प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑन द टॉपिक न्यूमेकल इंटीग्रेशन द क्वेश्चन से इज गिवन दैट वी हैव टेबल ऑफ एक्स एंड लॉग एक्स द रेंज ऑफ एक्स गोज फ्रॉम फोर टू फाइव पॉइंट टू एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ लॉग एक्स इज गिवन इन द टेबल एट एक्स इक्व टू फोर लॉग एक्स इक्व टू वन पॉइंट थ्री एट सिक्स एट एट एक्स इक्व टू फोर पॉइंट टू लॉग एक्स इक्व टू वन पॉइंट फोर थ्री फाइव वन सिमिलरली एट एक्स इक्व टू फाइव पॉइंट टू लॉग एक्स इक्व टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर एट सेवन ओके नाउ वी नीड टू इवेल्युएट दिस इंटीग्रेशन दैट इज इंटीग्रेशन लिमिट गोज फ्रॉम फोर टू फाइव पॉइंट टू लॉग एक्स डी एक्स बाई यूजिंग दिस फोर रूल्स दैट इज ट्रेपेजोडल रूल सिमसन्स वन थर्ड रूल सिमसन्स थ्री बाई एट रूल एंड विडल्स रूल सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके फर्स्ट वी विल राइट द विथ दैट इज इंटरवल साइज विथ विच इज गिवन बाई स्मॉल एच एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस इज बी माइनस ए अपॉन एन फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन सी द इंटरवल साइज इज हाउ मच पॉइंट टू यर वी हैव एक्स इक्व टू फोर देन फोर पॉइंट टू देन फोर पॉइंट फोर देन फोर पॉइंट सिक्स देन फोर पॉइंट एट फाइव फाइव पॉइंट टू यर यू कैन सी द इंटरवल साइज इज गिवन एज जीरो पॉइंट टू बट वी हैव टू शो दैट वॉट इज बी दैट इज अपर लिमिट एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू ओके एक्सट्रीम एक्सट्रीम लिमिट दैट इज फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव पॉइंट टू एंड वॉट इज ए दैट इज लोअर लिमिट B is the value of upper limit. A is the value of lower limit. So this is a equals to four. What is n? That is number of steps in the problem. Here you can see the number of elements present: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number of elements present in the problem is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven minus one. Always subtract with one. Number of elements minus one will give me number of steps. So n equals to Seven minus one, that is six. Okay, five point two minus four, that is one point two upon six. This is going to give us zero point two. This is the value of small h, that is width, or you can say interval size. Now we will take the help of all this method, all this rule to find the value of this integration. Okay, so starting with first, that is trapezoidal rule. So. trapezoidal rule okay we are finding integration log x dx the limit is from 4 to 5.2 okay we you need to remember the formula of trapezoidal rule which is very easy that is h upon 2 bracket open okay before writing the formula okay here you can see we have the value this is the value of y not This is y one, this is y two, y three, y four. This is the value of y five. This is the value of y six. So the subscript of y ranges from zero to six. So here we can write that is y not plus y six plus twice into remaining values of y. That is y one to y five. So here we can write y one plus y two plus y three plus y four plus y five. Okay, the value of h is zero point two, and the value of y not y one y two y three y four y five y six are here. So on putting these values here, you will get the value of this integration as per trapezoidal rule. That is how much one point eight two. Seven. Okay. As per trapezoidal rule, the value of this integration is one point eight two seven, and this is the part of this is the answer of first part. Similarly, we will come to the second part that is Simpson's one third rule. Now applying Simpson's one third rule. Okay, one. Third rule. 
we are finding the value of this integration whose limit is from 4 to 5.2 log x dx. Formula is h upon 3 bracket open. Simply write this that is y naught plus y 6 plus 4 into all subscripts of y that is y1, y, y3, y5, y7, y9, y11 but here up to y6 is given so we are writing y1 plus y3 plus y5 plus twice into remaining values of y that is even values that is y2, y4, y6, y8 and so on but here up to y6 is given so we are going to write that is y2 plus y4. Now closing this bracket again we have the values of h and all the values of y so on putting the value you will get the, the, value, the value of this integration as per Simpson's one third rule as 1.8278 and this is the answer of second part. Now coming to the third that is Simpson's 3 upon 8 rule by Simpson's 3 upon 8 rule. The formula is okay. First, we will write the integration part that is integration limit is from 4 to 5.2 log x dx. The formula is. 3 h upon 8 bracket open write this as it is that is y naught plus y6 plus here 3 into we are going to uh, we will not write the multiple of uh, the, uh, the value of y whose subscript is not a multiple of 3 ok that is y1 we will avoid y3 y6 y9 y12 and so on so avoiding those values we are going to write that is y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 here we have up to y6 so we are writing up to y5 plus twice into here we are going to write the subscript value of y whose which is in the multiple of 3 that is y3 y6 y12 here we are writing y3 and since we have used y6 here so we are closing up to this okay now on putting the values you will get the value of this integration as per Simpson's 3 upon 8 rule that is 1.8278 okay and this is the answer of third part. Similarly we will come to the fourth part that is Weddell's rule. So here we are writing number 4 Weddell's rule. Now first we will write the integration part that is integration limit goes from 4 to 5.2 log x dx ok the formula is 3 h upon 10 bracket open y naught plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6 Okay, now on putting the values of h, y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, you are going to get the value as 1.8278. So, we can say the value of this integration as per Weddell's rule is 1.8278 and this is the last answer. Okay, so we can say in this particular problem, Various rules, various rules were given by which, by which we can find the value of this particular integration. But in some problems, no rule is given. In that case, we have to identify which rule we have to apply to get the value of that integration. But this was a simple problem where, where we need to find the integra uh, integration value by using trapezoidal rule, Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's three upon eight rule, and Weddell's rule. So the most important part of this topic that is numerical integration is you need to memorize all the formulas that is trapezoidal rule, Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's three upon eight rule and last that is Weddell's rule. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.